For this example, guys, we obviously have an addition problem, and you want to label your u and your v. Okay, so therefore, based on my formula for the tangent, I am going to have tangent of, I'm sorry, tangent of 120 degrees plus 45 degrees is going to equal, um, let's see, it's going to be tangent of 120 degrees plus tangent of 45 degrees all over 1 minus tangent of 120 degrees times the tangent of 45 degrees. That is based on my formula sheet. Does everybody agree with me? Yes? Okay. So. Now we need to figure out what the tangent of 120 degrees. Now, again, remember our unit circle here. Let's now we're going to be talking about though degrees, not radians. Okay? And we know these points. Okay. Now, is 120 degrees in the first quadrant? Oh, that's not good, right? It's not on there. But we know that 120 degrees has a reference angle that is equal to 60 degrees. Because if you're going 120, halfway around a circle is 180. So if you go 120, 120 to 180 has a reference angle of 60 degrees. That means it's the same angle or the same coordinate point as 60 degrees in the first quadrant, but it's just in the second quadrant. So what would be negative, the x or the y coordinate? The x, right? So, but that's important because now I have one positive and I have one negative number, correct? Yes? So tangent is going to be negative, or the tangent of 120 is going to be negative. So let's figure what that would be. So the tangent of 120 degrees is going to be the y coordinate, square root of 3 over 2, divided by 1 half. And, or sorry, negative 1 half. So that leaves me with negative square root of 3. So now let's plug them in. So I have negative square root of 3 plus the tangent of 45 degrees. Guys, anytime you have a, y cor a number divided by itself, it's always going to equal 1. So that's going to be plus 1 divided by 1 minus negative square root of 3 times 1. All right, well, let's go ahead and simplify this here. Let's rewrite this as 1 minus the square root of 3 all over 1 plus the square root of 3. Okay, now we can't divide these out, guys, because they're separated by addition and subtraction. Okay, so we have to multiply by the conjugate. Because I'm going to ask you to simplify, so you're going to want to simplify. So I'm going to ask you to simplify. We go ahead and do this, and we end up with... Oh, let's see, multiplying this out of my head, I get 1 minus 2, square root of 3, plus the square root of 3, I'm sorry, plus 3. Over here, I get 1 minus 3. When I do my difference of two squares, I simplify this, that gives me 4 minus 2, square root of 3, over negative 2. Divide the negative 2 into both of those. That is my final answer. Okay, so I did do some math work in my head, but there's three, again,